Hey beautiful, I hope you are keeping safe and well. Welcome to my YouTube channel. For those who I haven't met before, I'm Emma Ryder, Psychic Medium and Divine Channeler. And this is the Daily Twin Flame Reading. Please bear in mind that as a rule, I tend to read where the Divine Masculine is at and the messages coming through from the Divine Masculine. In no way, shape or form am I saying that this journey is one-sided as I 100% know it isn't. So please do switch DM to DF if that resonates with your journey. Okay, folks. So we're going to go with the animal cards today. I feel like I've not used these for ages. It's probably not been that long, to be fair. So let's have a look and see. I feel like there's going to be something going along with the karmic today before I even pick a card. I'm like, I'm hearing karmic, karmic, karmic. It's like, it's almost like your divine masculine is sick of hearing or dealing or something with the karmic okay and so the first card out is the tiger so there is this internal strength which the divine masculine is pulling on growing creating showing however you want to put it because it feels like quite a lot of everything um there does feel to be a, and I feel like I'm like wanting to pull that strength up and like open up. Okay. So we've got the hyena. I would say that this is the karmic energy. They're really having to find their strength against the lower energy they're dealing with um and the other card that came out with the hyena is the deer which feels to be like a little stunned not sure which way to go not sure what's the next step to take but knowing they've got to knowing they've got to do something so there's this energy of it's almost like feeling stuck to the spot because they're unsure of what to do and it just it feels And then we've got the bear card so it feels like i want to say their gentleness and their kindness struggles with the energy of the karmic but the bear is also strong it's got a hidden strength that when they need to show it they will um So it does feel like they're battling with this karmic energy, but they have this inner strength, which they, they can see beyond the karmic. They can see what they need to be doing, but it's the actual finding the strength to do it and make it happen. Um, which is causing ups and downs in their energy. One minute they're okay, next minute the karmics may be weighing them down. So that is why you're maybe picking up on their energy being very up and down. It is up and down because this is affecting their energy. Um... But the important thing is the strength to see beyond where they're at, the strength to know that that is going to change, that that is not what they want. And they're finding it frustrating. They're finding the situation frustrating because they don't want to be having that battle with the karmic. They'd much prefer to have moved forwards from that by now and be in the future. So this, for, but this frustration 
which it is really annoying if there's a bee buzzing around you all the time you can't get rid of. I do feel is pushing them to really bring, to break through that gentle strength and really show the tiger strength because they're needing to I want to start singing you've just got to break free because that's really what they're doing that's what they've got to do they've got to break free and they will because the energy is rising this is really moving to the next level of awakening the energy and reaching their goal feels like the golden egg the karmic energy can't weigh them down. They can't stop them. It's just a battle of energy because some of the physic because some of the karmics have left. It's just the the lasting effects of the energy which they're dealing with. I know some karmics are still physically there, but this last battle really does feel like the breaking free challenge where they're really having to stand in their power stand in their strength and really voice their truth, realize their truth to finally break free. Then we've got the moth card and that feels significant because I feel like it's your light which is pulling them along, which is attracting them, which is helping build their strength too. And it may feel like snail pace, turtle pace. But the important thing is to know it is moving in the right direction. And things can go from turtle pace to buffalo pace very, very quickly. And the buffalo is strong, it's determined, it's forceful. And that is the energy that they're needing to find and needing to be. And they are. And your strength, your light, is helping them along too. Don't give up. Okay, beautiful. Thank you so very much for joining me. Please do me a favour and like and comment on the video. And if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. I am truly grateful for each and every single person supporting the channel. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Please do take care, stay safe, and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Namaste. Bye.